Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in this video, I will be showing you how the control surface works in FL Studio. So the control surface is an effect plugin where you can add and customize, you know, uh, any number of different controls that you can later link other parameters to within FL Studio. Now, if you didn't fully understand that, don't worry, because I'll be explaining that all now. Okay, so first off, this is an empty control surface, and you see I have two buttons here. The first one enables the editing mode of the control surface, and the second one lets me add a control. So if I click to add a control, I can select between a knob, an XY controller, and a slider. So I'm just going to select knob for now. And you can see it automatically turned editing mode on when I added that in. So now I can click on it to move it around. Uh, I can right click it to rename it. I can also middle click it to rename it. And I'll just call this knob in all caps. And right clicking it also gives you a few other options. You can color it. And I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about this because it's really just um, aesthetic. But if you want to, you know, you can play around with coloring it all and make it look however you want. Uh, and you can also change the style of it, which it's going to change the colors. So you can see brown, uh, simple blue. Now it's changed the style of the actual knob on that one and then sober. And then also by right clicking it, you can change the size. So, you know, you can have more specific knobs be smaller or more important knobs be huge or whatever makes sense for the control surface you're making. And then you can also set the default value. And what that does is it makes, let me change that. So I'm going to turn this here. And now I can set the default value there. So if I change it by clicking on it and moving the mouse, then if I reset it, it'll go back to where I set the default at. OK. Now, to swap between editing mode and just uh, live mode, you can click the C. And so lastly, from the right-clicking menu, I can delete it. OK, so let's see what the X, Y, and the slider look like. Now I'm going to change the size of both of these to be the largest available. And, you know, the right-click works uh, the same as it does on the knob except for the XY doesn't have a style option um, and it has the ability to set the default X value and the default Y value. And then the slider has the same options as the knob did. Okay, so why is this important? Why is this useful? And the first answer I have to that is it's especially useful in the patcher plugin because it's how you can control everything within patcher. But it's also pretty useful in FL Studio to do a few different things. And I'll show you a few examples. So first off, I have a clap layer. Okay. Now let's say I want to change all of these volume sliders in just one, you know, one motion. So what I can do is right click, link to controller, and then I'm going to set, select the control surface slider 3. And I'll accept. And I can do that with all of these. Okay. 
and you'll see if I change this, it changes them all at the same time. And you can do this with, you know, any parameters you want to within FL Studio. So let's say if each of these claps had, you know, its own distortion on it, then I could link, you know, the distortion amount of each one to this slider as well. Or if I had, you know, 10 different wobble bases and I wanted to control the LFOs of all of them with one controller, I could link them all to this and you know change the LFO speeds just by moving this. And that way instead of having you know 10 different automation clips in your song, you just have one. And the XY controller is especially useful if you want to control two separate parameters individually but at the same time with just your mouse so I'll show you that with um, this bass sound and what I want to automate is this filter here the frequency cutoff so I'm going to link this to the controller uh, the X value. And then I also want to automate the bandwidth in the vocodex. So I'm going to right click that, link to controller, and select the Y value. So what this allows me to do is I can play the sound, and I can be recording or I can just be testing it out, and I can change both of those parameters independently of each other at the same time. And you know, if I wanted to, um, link multiple things to the same parameter in the XY controller, I can do that too. So, uh, let's say I want to change the format along with the cutoff. I can link that to the X as well. And then I'll leave this open so you can see what's happening. So what I have automated right now is the frequency, the bandwidth, and the like formant pitch shift control here. So you can see that, you know, as I move the X, both of these move. And as I move the Y, this one here moves. So, you know, if you're creating a crazy bass sound, uh, the control surface can definitely be useful. You know, because um, maybe you don't want to make it in Patcher itself, but you want to have, you know, the controls clearly set up. Uh, you know, you can do that all, you can link whatever you want to to a control surface and, you know, it'll all be organized and you can easily modulate it and record it or, you know, whatever. Okay, now if you want to automate something within the control surface, you do it pretty much how you automate anything else in FL Studio. You can just right click it and create automation clip. You know, you have all these other options. Um, but the XY one, you click it, right click it, and it brings up two menus, one for the X and one for the Y.
Now, before I finish this video, there is one more thing uh, about Control Surface that you should know. And if you click this arrow here, go to the Help menu, it will tell you where you can find the Control Creator program. And what this does is it creates controls for the Control Surface plugin. So you can have, you know, your custom controls. You can make it look however you want to. And it's pretty cool. I'm not going to be covering that because, again, it's just aesthetic stuff. But, you know, you can find it, run it, and play with it to, you know, make your control surface or your patch or presets as fabulous as you want. So, yeah, that is the control surface in FL Studio. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.